The topic of today's video is DistroKid versus Ditto. These days, there are so many music distribution services, it starts to feel impossible to choose one, especially with a lot of them having near identical features and or price structures. The main focus here is on getting your music to all major and not so major platforms in order to generate revenue and exposure. Both distributors can offer you this at their most basic plan. Both also give you 100% of your music royalties. Speaking of which, if you are considering trying out DistroKid and are hoping to save a few bucks on your subscription, we've got you covered. Check the link in the description and receive a 7% discount. Now back to the video. You've heard of how artists are making money from YouTube. This is done through YouTube Content ID. Content ID lets your provider track your song usage via YouTube videos, people posting lyric videos or just videos in general. You will be able to monetize those videos via adding ads. Both these services offer this feature. With DistroKid, it's $4.95 per single and $14.95 per album per year. DistroKid will also take 20% of the generated ad revenue. Ditto, however, doesn't charge extra for this feature, as it is included in the Pro plan. Now, to be fair, DistroKid's equivalent plan, Musician Plus, is only $39.99 a year, versus Ditto Pro, which is $59 a year. However, the reality of how your DistroKid yearly fee will grow alongside your catalog could prohibit you from creating new content, which would be the opposite of what DistroKid should want. DistroKid has another album extra called Leave a Legacy, which I've expressed my deep dislike for. Leave a Legacy is a one-time payment and sees you paying another $29 per single or $49.99 per album, ensuring that when your payment fails for whatever reason or you just disappear off the face of the earth, your music won't. So this is optional, but is it really? It's like paying insurance on your music. Whether you do it now or later, you are going to want to do it. So add that to the DistroKid fee and notice how it's really not $39.99 at all. Ditto Music calls it release protection and it is included in the pro and labels plans. It does not seem to be included in the starter plan. Speaking of the plans, let's have a look at what we've got here. So these plan setups are exactly the same, so we can do a side-by-side. -side. DistroKid has Musician at $22.99 a year. You get unlimited uploads with all the plans, so I'll only mention it once. Unlimited lyrics, royalty splits, Spotify verification, and some other non-major things. Ditto Starter is $19 a year and offers unlimited distribution, pre-save smart links, DistroKid also has this, it's called HyperFollow, in-depth analytics, with DistroKid you only get that in the next plan up, royalty splits and playlist submission, there's also a 30-day free trial on this plan. Musician Plus goes for $39.99 for two artists, and offers everything in Musician, alongside synced Apple Music lyrics, daily streaming statistics, custom label names, and custom iTunes pricing. Ditto Pro is $59 for two artists, and offers all the features in Artist, sync licensing, publishing royalties, YouTube content ID, and release protection. And can I just say, chef's kiss to this plan, all the stuff that actually matters are here. I am really impressed with Ditto Music here. Ultimate is $89.99 and can take up to 100 artist profiles. You get everything from their previous plans, however you also get one terabyte of file sharing and access to Rhea Gold, 
and Platinum Monitoring, alongside contact info for multiple playlists. Labels on Ditto only supports 40 artists if I am going by the slider on this website. So we will work on the 5 artist setup, which is $89 a year. Which is not looking good compared to DistroKid, but factor in all DistroKid's album extras for just 5 artists and then reconsider. Considering all the facts, Ditto beats DistroKid and easily at that. Before joining any distributor, always do your homework, as once you've uploaded your music with most distributors and you decide to switch, it can be a real hassle. I've given you the guidelines, now it's time for you to make a decision. Do you have any interesting experiences with one of these distributors, good or bad? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. And have a beautiful day.